what three things that make them different from the Migos? You know what I'm saying? What in your case, like what would you say the three different top three different things that make them different from the Migos? The difference between Wolfgang and the Migos. Yeah. The first thing, Amigos is a three person group. Wolfgang is a four person group. Okay. Wolfgang, two of them produce the tracks. Ma majority. Majority of the tracks that, that the uh, Wolfgang rap on, they make their own beats. Okay. Uh, stage performance. Not knocking the Amigos. Stage performance. But Wolfgang would not be outdoing it by nobody. The stage energy is stupid. You you want to compete with them, you better bring Bruno, Bruno Mars. Bring oh, shit. Sure. You know what I'm saying? That's the only stage uh, 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 show that's going to be full of energy, and you know what I'm saying? That you can, that anybody can get involved in, from grandmas to little kids to whoever, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, uh, just the whole, I ain't going to say subject matter. You know what I'm saying? Subject matter is basically, you know what I'm saying? It's of the here and now. You know what I'm saying? But Wolfgang make feel good music. You know what I'm saying? It's party music. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 not trap music. It's not gangster music. You know what I'm saying? They're not professing to be hard. They're not selling all the dope. They don't got the bricks. They not they don't have the strongest motherfucking wrist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's not that drugged out future music as well. You know what I'm saying? They're not telling everybody to go do drugs and this and the third. You know what I'm saying? It's just some young cats from South Carolina with a nice little sound. Do they thing, you know what I'm saying? They're working hard, so you know. Okay, okay. So, um, what are some ways artists can make some money besides music? You know what I'm saying? Is there a way? It's multiple avenues, man. It's multiple avenues in, in this game, and I, and I preach that to my artists all the time, man. Like, you can't get stuck in, in one position in this game, you know what I'm saying? You got to spread your hustle, you know what I'm saying? There's other things that you got to learn, you know what I'm saying? Um, and the ones that do, like my artists like that, that are all multi-talented, the ones that do produce their tracks and they rap, you know what I'm saying? That's dope because like if you don't make it as the rapper, you might make you may still make it as the producer. But if you don't make it as the rapper, you still may make it as the engineer. If you don't make it as the rapper, you may make it as the videographer. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's all kind of uh, faucets in making money, you know what I'm saying? Um marketing, uh A and R. You know what I'm saying? It's just different avenues, man, and you, and you got to learn them. I mean, you really, being in the game, you're supposed to learn them all yourself anyway. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to learn all those avenues because you're supposed to be doing all those things for yourself right now as an independent artist. You know what I'm saying? Trying to break into the majors, trying to be seen, you know what I'm saying? And learning how to work your social media. You know what I'm saying? Learning how to promote, how to promote yourself. You have to promote yourself more than anybody who you even pay to promote yourself, to promote you. You know what I'm saying? You have to be your number one fan. You have to be your number one supporter. You know what I'm saying? I can only do a job for you. You know what I'm saying? And I render my service and I do the job to the best of my business. But the number one thing about that is I can only meet your effort. Yeah. Okay. Okay, man. I know that you said you sold some of the game up from um from Diddy and uh one buffing. Anybody else you sold the game up from that you know? Oh man, like, well, okay. Those are my idols. Those are the people that I study. Um like I said, billionaires, and, but I don't have a personal relationship with any of those people. Only thing I can do is just read um, a manuscript, you know what I'm saying? Um, a, a dialogue that was written pretty much for them, you know what I'm saying? So I don't, it's nothing personal. I can just read, do notes, and, 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 um, and just try to uh, take a few pointers, you know what I'm saying, from what they had going on. But as far as influencers and motivators um, that was hands on with me, Man, first of all, most I got to salute. You know what I'm saying? My dog, Mo. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? V V12 Studio. Yeah, Mo man. cool. Mo cool. Good yeah, pictures. yeah, yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of people don't know, but um, that was my that, that was my big dog, man, back in like 05, probably what it was, maybe like 05, 04, 05, 06. Somewhere in there. Somewhere in there, you know what I'm saying? Is when we was doing our little run, you know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to Piezo, that's my dude. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's when the Piezo wave, you know what I'm saying? We was pushing, so, you know, I was part of that little movement. You know what I'm saying? Romello. Mm -hmm. shout, shout out to my dude. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, that was our little circle. You know what I'm saying? Riverside Records. Yeah, y'all don't know that. Yeah, Divine Ball, Riverside Records, Mo, Piezo. You know what I'm saying? My dude. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I, um, I was behind the scenes, man. Behind the scenes. Fly on the wall. You know what I'm saying? Just watching Mo. Learning. You know what I'm saying? Just playing my part, doing whatever I could do. 
for the team at the time be it, if it was just pass out some CDs. You know what I'm saying? But I'm on the, I was on the road with them. Just, just seeing the grind and watching it. So, you know what I'm saying? That was that was one of my dudes, man, who I got to salute right now. Um, so you and Vic, y'all real blood cousins, big bro? Word. Word. Real blood cousins, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my little cousins, man. You know, it's a big age difference between us because I'm an old ass man. You know what I'm saying? OG in these streets. But, um, um, yeah, that's my real cousin, man. It's like, his pops was my big cuz, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's, it's crazy because it went like this right here, man. Um, his pops, you know what I'm saying, was known on the streets too. Okay. Me? Yeah, 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 yeah. He been somebody. So, um, he didn't want to, I ain't take no lie, really and truly, that's why I got, he the one extended my very first ghetto pass. No. Word, word. That's why I first got my uh, very first ghetto pass was from my cousin Vic, you know what I'm saying? And that's his father. Mm. Oh, he loves it. Oh, yeah, he loves it. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, now. Okay. Yeah, we don't call him that no more since he's grown, but you know what I'm saying? Hey, little bit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he loves it. So, um, so, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I might tell you, I'm from Newcastle. And, um, you know, we used to beef with uh, Greenville. You know what I'm saying? I was right across the track. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you from Newcastle, man, you couldn't go to Greenville like that. Be at the park like that without something going on. You know what I'm saying? And it was vice versa. You know what I'm saying? We catch off and. And, 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 and Newcastle used some green dudes, it was it was pretty much the same thing. But um, yeah, you know, and my, my cousin wasn't even from there. My cousin was from Mel Lakes. You know what I'm saying? He was from Mel Lakes. But Mel Lakes and Greenview, they, you know, like I said, my cousin had a name out there. Yeah. So um, yeah, so I remember some shit was about to go down in the gym. Niggas about to blitz us in the gym, it was me and my dog Malik. You know what I'm saying? That's my right hand man, he part of the bitch squid. Um Nigga about to bless us in the gym, man. It's like me, him, and his little brother, about three or four of us, nigga. The whole gym about to jump on us. Whole gym. One of the niggas walked in. Another nigga walked in to the gym. Why the niggas, you know what I'm saying, taking off the shirts, and all kind of shit, getting ready, you know what I'm saying? Now we the fair back in our little car, you know what I'm saying? Back in the wall, we ready too. Another one of the niggas came in, he looked, and he was like, Yo, come out. Niggas up, oh hell no. That's big little cousin right there. That's dead. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, and it was over just like that. Just like that. Yeah, just like that. It was dead. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting story because I ain't even know, you know what I'm saying, Vic. Nah. Had a, it was a big Vic before Vic, you know what I'm big, saying? It was a big Vic before Vic, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just following in the footsteps, man. We just trying to make it great, bro. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, 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 yeah. He was, um, he's OG in the streets, man. He's OG too. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, man, we got some age and he my big homie, so. It's, um, this generation ain't gonna, you ain't gonna know about it or know of it. But, but salute, like I said, we done did enough gangster shit, like me and his, his pops. Like we did enough gang, real gangster shit in these streets that we wouldn't want our children doing the same. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So now, you know what I'm saying? Like my cousin, they had the Columbia series. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. Shout out to Amputee. Shout out to Big Pa. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the whole team, man. Um, Kobe D. You know what I'm saying, man? Kobe D, that's another talented individual, man. Kobe D. You know what I'm saying? Very entertaining. You know what I'm saying? I see big things in his future. Right now, we're about to blaze these trails, and I need y'all support. I need y'all behind me when we do that. So that's why I gave you me for free. You know what I'm saying? So, But I'll be back. I'll be back to collect. You know what I'm saying? I'll be yeah. back to collect, y'all, because you're going to be calling for me. Yeah, y'all going to be calling for me from the radio to the clubs. Being hated, you're going to be calling for me. Eat cherry, you're going to be calling for me. Y'all going to be calling. Y'all going to be in the parties. Yeah, y'all going to host something, something. You're going to walk through something, something. Tick gonna be, hey, all the, all the people, how you fuck with me right now? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the term of the ticket. What the ticket gonna be? Yeah. Yeah, just on some real shit. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't like sitting there like, oh yeah, I'm got that on the tax niggas. No, I ain't saying that. I'm just saying, it, it just, this just depends on your discount. You gonna get one because you, you SC, you're home base. You know what I'm saying? I don't hold no grudges because a lot of clubs and a lot of promoters have open doors for me. Some of y'all done got me. I be green now. Some of y'all done got me. I know who done got me. Just remember that. You know what I'm saying? Just war. Yeah. And at war, you play chess. You play chess, not motherfucking checks. You know what I'm saying? You always make your next move your motherfucking best move. You know what I'm saying? And I'm always five moves ahead. Remember that. If I'm the bar, I did 14 years in prison on that motherfucking chessboard. I'm always five moves ahead. I'm just not learning this shit right here. So I'm I'm getting it on in. You know what I'm saying, big dog? Mm -hmm. I'm getting it, but it's coming. Cats like Mo, B12 Studios, shout out to you, man. Cats like Pro Intelligence, motherfucking Russian, man. Come on, man. Cats like you. It's why I win. Chill go hard, man. That's my little dude, man. Like, when y'all see his movement, man, that go hard society, boy, the boy's hard. Yo, listen. 
Them boys is hard. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Man, get behind his move, man. Anybody, any mixtape he doing with, with anybody. You know what I'm saying? Man, get behind and check him out, man. Um, man, who else dope in the city, man? I wanna, I wanna, I, man, my shout out is who dope in the city, who making moves, man. I gotta get money, I'm working. I get to the money, I'm working. Never had a job, but I'm working. I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. I'm serving, I'm drinking, I'm working. I'm working.